Hi, my name is Corey Schroeder, and I'm the Vice President of Product Management at Vendavo. Many times I've had to lead new commercial processes, and probably the, the largest component of that is getting approval for actually executing it. So building something, defining it is one thing, but you need to make sure that people are on board before you start. A lot of times you will run into to barriers because there's conflicting agendas, whether it's with you and another leader who has to approve it or between two leaders. And so really understanding and clearly defining the core value of what you're working on will help to drive alignment. So one of the things that's really been impactful for me in the past to help drive acceptance of a change in the process is a pilot program or a smaller test version of whatever we're trying to do. And so by having smaller wins is a, is a good way to help drive acceptance and it's a good starting point when having these discussions with business leaders. I think people like to hide behind the idea of here's what I'm doing and it's a conservative estimate. I don't understand why you want to be conservative. Tell people what you think the potential is, because if the potential is significant, then get the resources to do it. What I've seen a lot of times is when people are conservative, they actually don't achieve in getting their projects approved. I think they're too afraid of putting big numbers out there because they might not be able to hit it. Well, I think it's more important to outline to the organization where true opportunities lie. Define what the scope could be, because it gives the decision makers the vision that what you're working on is achievable, but also is something that you can build upon afterwards. Define the financial benefit, because the higher you go up in the organization, the more they're going to want to really see numbers. And so by quantifying the value of whatever you're working on, that will have the biggest impact on your ability to get resources assigned to a project. Some of the things that have worked for me in the past is getting people who are the experts in a room and getting their alignment. They can typically influence those who are making the decisions, find the people who have the most benefit from whatever you're working on, and let them be the salespeople. For you. When you're trying to make an impact to the organization, find something that you know really well and that you can execute. So don't just find something that is advancing or is the latest on some website. Do what makes an impact to the organization and the uh, kudos will come from there.